good. And guys, if you really want to lose weight, and then when they come back home, they look like models. Mama, you make everything very deep. We're going to watch another show. I'm sleeping. <coughs> Hola amigos! Hola! And welcome to today's mukbang! I just like woke up for like one hour ago I think and I still haven't gotten dressed so I just put on a onesie <laughs> so that I can look a little bit more presentable. She's a piggy, a unicorn and a chicken. A chicken. And a dog. A doggy. I don't know what they were thinking when they made this. Okay anyways breakfast it's only 9 40 something this is our breakfast it's really really strange but okay mama you go first bean burger guacamole it's vegetarian because there's a little bit of egg one egg in the whole and then veggies salad with italian dressing on top vinaigrette and then i have the same thing as mama except i have ketchup inside mine and then i have Olives. veggies with hala and then I have leftover giant Mike's pizza. What's it called? Wild Wild Mike's pizza. Let's eat, guys. There is dairy in that, so I only ate the what do you call that? The Let crust. The butt part of the crust. Oh. I made the guacamole. I made a bean burger. And then yesterday we kept on. Giving mama like the, the pizza bread and we removed the cheese and she go <laughs> Charity mm. It's super yummy the bean burger it tastes like eggplant mm. What's in it? Kidney beans One egg for 30 bean burgers so that's not a lot Crumbs like bread crumbs Flour, spices, bouillon powder. That's all. That's all. And I fried them. I soaked them first. It was dried overnight. And then I cooked it in a pressure cooker. And then I mixed and fried. Tell me down below if you like jalapeno. It's so hot. It's pickled jalapeno. Which is my favorite. I don't like just eating jalapeno on its own. <laughs> you didn't get olives. No. Yesterday, we were reading. People were looking at us. And I told my, oh, they're thinking we're DACA. <laughs> they might think we're, um, you know, like immigrants. <laughs> We are immigrants. I mean, immigrants. Illegally. Yeah. <laughs> because usually, like, as a, you know, as a, what's it called? The stereotype is that, like, oh, only Mexicans and Asians do the gardens here, you know, stuff like that. And we look, we, we kind of look, do we look Mexican? Kind of. People, you guys say we look Mexican. Um, Michael taught us how to prune. And we got this thing, not a shovel, but you read with it, or we read. And I was okay, thinking it's like it. a knife. And then you twist. But it's not so efficient because the root breaks. So what I did was to dig and we got like this long root. Michael will plant in March. Love. Oh. And he will teach us how to plant. Oh. I know how to plant. Michael wanted to help to read, but he has paints. And I love um, fixing the garden, or at least reading. Look, look. My ancestors, at least half of them, were farmers, so I think we have it in our Our blood. ancestors. Oh, sorry. Our ancestors. <laughs> and and I think we have it because especially making bonfire because that's part of you know gardening when you're cleaning all the um, the dried leaves I have I to say it. though I did not inherit that bonfire jeans <laughs> <laughs> I whenever I try to make a bonfire it always dies on me 
but don't you love it i love it but it doesn't work like i use so many matches until the whole box is <laughs> empty you have to have a love making bonfire mm. this is our plant-based breakfast mine is not very plant-based <laughs> yeah as long as your plate is mostly plants L isn't it i like i think i like bagels more than burger buns i don't like burger buns they're just airy out Mm -hmm. Do you want jalapeno? No. Talented of the day goes to NS. But his name is Hobie. Oh. And it's his birthday soon. I think it's a he. <laughs> I'm not sure. Hobie? Mm. Doesn't it sound like a he? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday! By the time this goes up, it's probably his birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday! Happy birthday, hubby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you could say that, hubby. Hubby? I have olives. I usually don't like olives, but this is okay. Why is yours so pale? I don't know. It was, I think mine is bigger. No, it's so pale. Mine is brown. I don't know. I think it's bigger, so it takes time to be brown. We have a dessert, sugar daddy. You haven't tasted it, love? I think you have when I did a video in Denmark. No, it's vegan. Oh. Guys, this pizza, pizza is this big. I'm not even kidding. And it costs like $2. Two and a, uh, two fifty. It's buy one, get one. So we get two. Where have you milk. ever seen a pizza that big for that cheap? Nowhere. <laughs> if you're trying to be plant-based, don't go to the US. <laughs> no. No, it's easy to do it here. It's easy, but there's lots of temptations because it's so cheap. Plant-based is not. It's it's not strict like vegetarian or vegan. You, you can know. Eat, you can eat meat but not a lot that's why i was always so confused with youtubers when i lived in denmark and they say oh i'm broke i don't have a lot of money oh i'm just a student i don't i don't i only work at starbucks and stuff like that but they live like they still live at home so it's not that they don't have to pay for rent and stuff but they say that they don't have enough money to buy stuff and they said like they have one thousand a month or something i'm like now I'm thinking, how do they not have enough money? It's so cheap here. They buy gadgets and they go to Starbucks. <laughs> yeah, if the, if you like buy Starbucks every day, then yeah, I yeah, guess. It won't be enough. But it's more than enough if you don't pay for rent. Hmm. And food, they still live at home. That's like working part time. You would get that. That's so confusing. Around 800. As I was saying, huh? if you're <laughs> trying to be plant-based or vegan or vegetarian, you'd succeed easier or if you eat lots of beans <laughs> because it makes you full. I'm not even hungry. And, and when I, we usually just eat three or four times while before, I would eat more than that more often. Basically. And guys, if you really want to lose weight, yeah, then you should move to an island in the Philippines, like a surfing island, because there is no produce. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, not no, but it's the same thing. So you will get super bored. Like when I were there, was there, I would get really bored with the food. So I didn't really get that excited anymore because it would always be the same Oreo, <laughs> the same. Oh, you mean uh, junk food? Junk food. food. There's no junk food almost. Mm. Because it, they only get the same things because they have to ship it through the boat. And mm. and it's kind of like your brain will be like, oh, no more junk food. But you will lose weight and you get more toned. And then especially if you like bike all the time and then you sweat all day long. 
And then when you get home, people won't recognize you anymore. <laughs> and then you'll get a tan. Lots mm -hmm. of people want tans. A lot of people go there, Mama. And then when they come back home, they look like models. <laughs> tan, very, very tan models. Or orange models because they got so burnt. <laughs> Red models. <laughs> because, it's like surfing, guys, it burns a lot like a lot of fat because you have to balance a lot mama and it takes a lot of strength to be able to balance on top of that gardening would burn a lot of calories too. surfing would burn more i think gardening makes you sweat it was 36 degrees fahrenheit the other day and we couldn't even have a jacket right up yeah but i didn't sweat the other day when it was so cold. You have Muta. It's that thing. <laughs> well, don't cover the microphone. That's why it was hurting. Guys. No, on this eye. Oh. I've never tried sugar sugar daddy. <laughs> Ew. I've never tried it. But I'm pretty sure it would be like doing Did you it? hear how it sounded? Yeah, yeah. I think it's meant to sound like that. Is it like Dumle? Mm. There's this. Uh, is it from Finland or Norway? I or? think Finland. Mm. And they have this similar looking thing. Looks like this, but it's quite soft and you can like string. Is this stringy? Yeah. It's caramel. It's hard. It's hard, Mama. It's like rock. It's yummy. You have to suck on it. Don't say. <laughs> Don't even say the name. <laughs> no, I can say the name. Not when you say suck. <laughs> it's so hard. Don't say that. <laughs> Oh my god, this is not good for the teeth. No, but it's yummy. I like to make more. <laughs> Why did you cook it? 69 cents. Did I think you, you have to warm it, up, warm it up in like the microwave or something. No. It's so like matigas. <laughs> it's so matigas. <laughs> Oh, you said it's in Filipino. Mm. I wonder what would happen if we warmed it up in the microwave. This is like a lolly, not like it's not candy. Yeah, but don't treat that like a lolly. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, you make everything dirty. I'm just warning you because your viewers are also clean minded. <laughs> are my viewers clean? No. Are not clean? <laughs> Guys! <laughs> because they know when we're talking about something we shouldn't talk about. No. I don't even know how, how did you eat this one. Were you able to finish the whole thing? Mama, you can make everything like that. <laughs> You're making it worse. I'm just smiling. I was thinking back. Mm -hmm. I wonder how Mama did. Oh, Mama did get a boyfriend before. I wonder, like, how how do Filipinos? Because Filipinos are so like comedians. I've tried. How do they? How do they? How do they even like become? sexy like the guys i know there's lots of sexy guys there but i mean they are so like they're comedians like all of them so it's like hard to like look at them and be like ooh, you know because they always make jokes so you always feel like they're your friend not when you're alone guys. with them <laughs> <laughs> but they're romantic though super romantic and they know who's the boss <laughs> they don't even pretend they're the leader, mm. babe. Mm -hmm. That's my girl. Right. It's funny because when I when we visit family, and 
it's like my uncles or whatever aunts and uncles and the the wife my aunt basically but the wife my mom will always be like oh what do you want to eat today kids they will be like that and the kids will say whatever let's say they say pizza and the guy will be like oh, i want burger and then the wife will be like I'm asking the kids. Did I ask you? No. I'm asking them. They want pizza. We get pizza. <laughs> and like, they always, what's, what's in the ape? What's that? How do you say? Torturing? No. It's almost like bullying, but not really bullying. Bullying in a joking way. In the ape. Oh, tell us, guys. It's hard to translate the uh, Tagalog words. If you guys know, they I, we have Filipino viewers and they're good at translating. But tell us down below, guys. But basically, like when the girl is like We're bullying, I think kind of like bullying, but joke, like a joke. Do you really think she was joking? <laughs> no, no, but she meant it. In, she meant it in a loving way. <laughs> Or when she would be like, or when the the wife would be like, oh, I'm I'm sleepy, and then the the guy will be like, oh, I'm just going to watch one more show, and she will look at him like, you're going to watch another show. I'm sleepy, <laughs> <laughs> and then the guy will look at her like in fear, like. And turn some of the TV and then, oh, let's go, honey, let's go sleep now. Last night, I was so sleepy at like 10. But then we, it was 12, 11.30 and I told my cat, he already showered. I said, B, I'm sleepy. And then he said, oh, already. <laughs> I said, yeah, 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 come here in bed and let's cuddle. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. And then he said, oh, how will I sleep? I'm not sleepy. So we'll just talk. <laughs> and then went to bed. He said, oh, I think I'm sleepy too. <laughs> just because I said, we'll just talk. <laughs> I doesn't want to talk, I want to sleep. Suddenly so became sleepy. And he said, oh, I will do that. Until we were able to sleep at 10. I will always tell you to cuddle and sleep. <laughs> cuddle and talk. Don't do that. This is nothing like Dumle. I miss Dumle. You know Dumle, guys? I will show a picture right here if I'm being good that day that I'm editing. But when you eat that, as long as, uh, as, long as you like eat it like a lollipop first. And then you like pull on it. So it will become like stringy. This one, like a tongue. Yeah. This thing, I'm. I don't even know if this is food. <laughs> it's like, what is it? <laughs> I'm already like. Tell us down below if you've tried sugar, sugar daddy before. <laughs> you can't even say. I can't even say it. <laughs> please, please go down below and subscribe to this channel. I will, and turn on the post notifications so you know when I upload a new video. And by the way, to the guy on Twitter who wrote to YouTube, uh, thanks for the shout out, because YouTube made a tweet and they said, um, is there any small YouTubers out there you guys want us to know about? And then this guy, a viewer, uh, said that he likes my channel. Thanks for watching guys, I'm Gracias almost 25,000, I think we just one on, you tomorrow. maybe I am already 25,000. Thanks for watching, 000. love you guys, adios amigos, tell me what you think about my one feet. Wow.